I want to become the Prime Minister. Please. Because, and can I do politics as well? Because I, wanna, I see the, the stuff that's happening yeah. right now in London itself. Yeah. And it's disgusting, it hurts. Yeah. And it's disgusting. Yeah. Right now, it's disgusting. Yeah. 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 It's disgusting. Spark Nation, a church known for saving young black people from the life of crime in the UK, is under investigation. This comes after several accusations by former worshippers who said they have been brainwashed to spend money they did not have in form of seed sowing in the church. The pastors groom and push them to take out loans and get involved in massive amounts of debts. Majority of the accusers also claim the church runs like a cult. <laughs> The church, which started in Croydon, hosts Sunday services around expensive hotels and conference suits in London. The ministry is owned by a Nigerian who goes by the name Toby Adeboyega, a cousin to British actor John Boyega. Pastor Toby often dresses head to toe in designer's wear such as Gucci and Louis Vuitton, rocks expensive pieces of jewelry. He also owns a Rolls Royce as well as Lamborghini with personalized pastor number plate and these are only some of his expensive cars. Some of his famous members include former X Factor contestants Gifty, Armstrong Martin, political aspirant Jade Edward, and Maria Mola, who has 13 convictions for 34 offenses, 27 for fraud and dishonesty. Toby Adeboyega, who claims his church was a calling from God, is being accused of exploiting and brainwashing young black British and taking money from the government and politicians. From me going to Spark Nation, my life changed, so I can only sh show what I've been through. I can't show anything else, if that makes sense to you. We've done our research and would like to say we have everything you need to know about the man behind Spark Nation Ministry. Hello guys, it's Nolin here for African Glitz. My name is Tobia Lewega and I'm a community leader. I spent the last 10 years of my life helping, mentoring, and investing into young people all over the world. Toby Adeboyega, who just turned 39 on the 11th, he started Spark Nation over eight years ago in London. The full name of the church is Salvation Proclaims Anointed Church. Pastor Toby, as popularly known, comes from a family of ministers. His father is a minister and so are some of his brothers. He said he got his calling at the age of eight. Well, I think I grew up with a pastor. My right. dad happens to be a pastor. I still, he's a pastor and mm. um, I preached my first message at the age of eight. Wow. Yeah. After studying in Nigeria and training as a lawyer, Adeboyega came to London for his doctorate degree. This was when he realized his calling from God to become a pastor. Toby Adeboyega, who is cousin to British Star Wars actor John Boyega, claims he once shared a room with the popular actor in Peckham, South London, when he first moved to the UK in 2005. John Boyega, however, isn't a member of Spark Nation and isn't involved in funding the organization. During an interview after he wrote his first book, Rebuilding the Broken Walls, Toby said he did a lot of things, including drugs, before he was called to serve God. I've been on drugs for about eight, nine years. I've done a lot of things until I knew God for myself. He stated that Spark Nation initially had a church base, but as time went, he discovered new ways to attract young people in his ministry. The church started focusing on young people who were once criminals or gang members, as well as those who had no family or suffering from depression. The new ministry for the young was successful in the wake of knife and gang crime across London. Ade Boyega and his ministry began to gain recognition by the government and media. According to some reports, Toby Adeboyega started and meant well as a pastor, but lost it along the line as money and politics got involved. Spark Nation motto a few years back was to raise money and invest it in the youths. As time went on, Pastor Toby and his team soon find better ways to raise money, which also benefited him and his bunch of young pastors, who are mostly under the age of 30. His ministry is described as a young dynamic church, and over 55% of worshippers have previously been in jail, gang, or have been involved in knife crime. 
About two years ago, around 2017, Adeboyega acquired a £2.5 million eight-bedroom house with its own swimming pool on a private estate in Surrey and accommodated over 20 young men with a gang history. He also claimed to have up to 20 similar-sized properties across London where he provides sanctuary for vulnerable young people with his pastors running their houses. Early January 2019, there was a media report about Ade Boyega disturbing residents around his Surrey mansion with loud music. He also angered the wealthy residents by allegedly speeding around its quiet lanes in luxury cars, including Rolls Royce and Range Rovers. When he finally addressed the issue, the pastor said that his neighbors are being hateful and racist and doesn't like the idea of a black man living amidst them. So with that, he makes as much noise as he possibly can can with his luxury cars. After several accusations by former members and their family who called Ade Boyega and Spark Nation a fraud, which groom and brainwash young people into debt in a strategic manner of helping vulnerable young people a little and then expecting a thousand more from them. Young members are also attracted by the black music culture, with pastels pictured in designer's clothes and posing on gleaming sports cars and 4x4s. Sunday services mix religion with dancing to performances of rap and R&B music. The church also hosts barbecues, football matches and other fun activities for its members. Accounts lodged at the Charity Commission in 2018 showed Spark Nation had an income of £1.17 million and a expenditure of £1.19 million. The UK government is finally listening and looking into the allegations. Toby Adeboyega, however, denies all allegations and says members are taking loans in their own names and his church has nothing to do with it. He also claims that all Spark Nation's money is self-generated and his sorry house is a rented property and so are his line of luxury cars. During an interview with presenter Reggie Yates, Toby talked about how one of his church members run a luxury car rental company and this is why he has luxury cars. But most former members think he is smart because, while living in a country like the UK, renting luxury cars are more convenient than buying. That way, if things should go south, it doesn't all come back to him. Toby Adeboyega explained further how they make money that allows his expensive lifestyle. He talked about owning up to 30 businesses, which include a chain of African food outlets. Going back into a former career which is property development, through buying up to 25 properties, mainly old ones, renovating and selling them on for a profit, and pouring back the cash into the organization. He also revealed that he doesn't get any grant from the government or help from charities. One of the former residents he helped is 23-year-old X Factor star Armstrong Martins, who left his childhood home at the age of 13 and was brought up by the pastor. Spark Nation pastors are currently facing allegations from dozens of formal members who claim they were forced to take out bank loans and hand over thousands of pounds to fund the church's lavish spending. The church pastors, which include Miriam Mola, have a pattern and often preach in a harsh manner about sowing seeds on a weekly to monthly basis as well as setting goals. Take care of your responsibilities and be diligent in your business. Take care of your responsibilities and be diligent in your business. After several complaints and series of accusations by former members, which has gone viral, the Met Police are reviewing all allegations of fraud, grooming, brainwashing and other potential offences relating to the evangelical church that claim to turn around the lives of troubled young people. The charity watchdog has also launched a probe and council officials have raised concerns over safety of youngsters living in the 23 houses run by the pastors across London. Spark Nation pastors, of which some are former gang members, are allegedly threatening former members for speaking up about the ongoing fraud. Concerns were also raised over Spark Nation's developing links with the Conservative Party in the borough after Jade Edward, a young pastor in the church, was selected to fight a council by election for the party. 
The conservatives who struggle to attract young black supporters have seen Kim to embrace the church, with Jade Edwards' picture placed close to Boris Johnson at the Troy Party conference. Toby Adeboyega, who was also at the event, has previously been pictured outside number 10 after meeting with the PM's advisor. Toby reportedly calls the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, a friend of the church. Toby Adeboyega, around June of this year, was also spotted having launched an interview with former Nigerian president, Mr. Olushengu Obasanjo. Inclusive community, shared society. You mentioned in one of your writings uh, that the youth should not expect that power would just be given to them um, by the leaders. What must we do to get into power leadership, sir? You see, there are certain things that we must get right. Yes, At one time, we talk about uh, technology transfer. Yes, sir. As if somebody will package technology <laughs> and give it and to you. <laughs> take it. Yes, sir. Technology is acquired, mm. is learned, yes, is part of empowerment yes, that we must seek mm. and have. Yes. After all revelations and accusations, a spokesman for Spark Nation said the church welcomed police investigation and would cooperate with any inquiries. Toby Adeboyega, in defense of his wealth, claimed luxury helps him attract young people so that he can get his message across. The 39 year old pastor and his gang of young pastors are distancing Spark Nation from bitter members who are blaming their deaths on the church. The church is currently under investigation and the story is still developing. Do you think Pastor Toby Adeboyega is falsely accused of fraud just because he is successful? Or do you agree Spark Nation is truly brainwashing young people and using them to get rich? Voice your opinion on the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching our video and you enjoyed it, why not check out our channel for more trending stories and news. Hey, don't forget to click and subscribe for more videos from African Glitz. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one. Hello guys, it's Nelin here from African Glitz. Do you send money to your loved ones in Africa? Well, there's a new way to send money to Nigeria or other African countries just like that. SendWave is the latest money transfer app right now and trust me, it's worth the buzz. With SendWave, you can send money to your loved ones within 30 seconds and it reaches them instantly. You can currently send money to countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania right from your phone without paying any fees. You can even send money at any time of the day, even at 3am in the morning. So, to download the app, here is what to do. Go to either Google Play Store or Apple App Store and search for SendWave. Download the app and sign in using your name, email address and phone number before entering in your recipient's information. After validating your phone number, you will see the main screen where you will be sending money from. Once you've entered in how much you want to send, with the exchange rate right there to tell you exactly how much your recipient will receive. Just like that, 30 seconds later, your funds will be in the desired account and you will also receive a confirmation message from SendWave. It gets even better. Use our promo code GLEEDS to have £10 added to your transfer when you send money for the first time. That's right, SendWave is giving out anyone who uses our promo code GLEEDS £10 towards their first transfer. So, tell your friends about the SendWave app and tell them to use our promo code GLEEDS right now and tell them to tell a friend. SendWave has been helping Africans in the diaspora send money since 2014 and has over 150,000 users across the UK, US and Canada. 
Soundwave has only been sending money from the UK to Nigeria since March of 2019 and are currently adding new channels and corridors to other African countries as they become available. Soundwave is a legally registered money transmitting service in every country it operates. You know what that means. No more going to the banks or outlets to send money when you can do it instantly with your phone. Isn't that amazing?